Hey, welcome back to another episode of Herbal Gardens Homestead. I'm Leo, your host, and we're going to be checking out the garden today. And I'm going to show you that right after this. Hey, it's good to have you back again. Well, it looks like the garden is doing really good. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. The last time you guys were out here with me in the garden, some of the things, uh, they were starting to take off. But today I'm going to show you something even more. Because some of them, he's even grown. Uh, you know what, let's go down here. Yeah, I just picked up this big one. It's a, it's a really nice, nice size. I just wanted to show you what's going on with the garden. Look at this. We got some tomatoes growing. All right. And I'm telling you, this bee bomb is taking off like you wouldn't believe. The one that I potted that I showed you all. And look at these tomato plants. These are getting real big. And, yep, there's some tomatoes in there. There's some down there. Look how big this one is getting. Wow. Yeah, got some big ones in there. See that big one now? Looking good. I just put this in here today. This is a, a Thai, Thai pepper plant. And um, they did really well in the bucket like that for me last year so i'm gonna see if we can do it again this year got some tomatoes here this need needed some water so i soaked it up a little bit we're supposed to be getting another rain and i got my scotch bonnet got some more peppers here and look at this grapevine remember how bad that looked a long time ago it looks really good now in all, I guess I would have to say that I'm really getting happy with this garden. It's looking really good. And as you can see, look at that. That's the chocolate mint. It's growing like a whip. I tell you what. If you remember last time, some of the, the flowers were starting to come out on the chives. Well, check this out. Take a look. Oh, the butterflies are coming and enjoying some of the chives. Look at that. These are getting big, and I love it. Look at the flowers on these things. And it is really starting to call some bees over. And I love it, because you really want some pollination going on in your garden. And these are gonna be opening in not too long. Over here, we have the lemon thyme, and I think you're gonna like what that looks like. Take a look. Look how this has absolutely filled this bed up on this side. It is awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I can't wait till all these seeds 
start to mature so maybe I can harvest some and I want I want them to just drop and just keep filling up this area over here and and here's the German thyme over on this side and it's looking really good look at that you can tell the difference you see the, see the leaf pattern in this now look at that it's a lot thicker in the lemon thyme I know last time I showed you um, the Greek oregano and the Italian oregano, um, but I just want you to see it again because I'm trying to show you throughout the, the months and the year how things are going to be growing in the garden so that you can see in case you want to start growing something maybe next year or even start this year. You still got some time to get some of these things going. Here is the Italian and the, the Greek oregano. This garden right here is absolutely looking wonderful. Look at that. Looks great. Everything's growing really strong. Leaves are coming out really thick. Look at that. I'm gonna eat that. That's a, the Greek oregano right there. That tastes phenomenal. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, but uh, maybe a couple videos ago, I might have shown you in the last one also, but it wasn't this big. Take a look at the orange mint. This is the one that I put in the pot. Look at this thing. It is growing. Holy spaghetti. It looks wonderful. Look at the size of these leaves. Man. That is absolutely awesome. Look at that thing. Wow. And the bee bomb's looking great. Look at that. Beautiful. My big aloe vera is coming back. She's got some babies in there, so I'm going to be taking those out soon. Everything's just looking great. Look at that. Got a pineapple growing. And I put it in a bigger bucket so maybe we can get some of the color back into her. Yeah, because it was, believe it or not, when I was transferring this here to this property, it was in one of these little ones. Uh, it might have been even a little smaller than that. Just to transfer it and keep the dirt on the roots. Look at that. I am so happy. Do you all know what that is? That, my friends, is my stinging nettle coming up. I can't wait to have some stinging nettle tea. Whole bunch of vitamins in that. Now, I told you I would keep you in touch with what's going on with the chocolate mint. And... Last time it was, I thought it was filling up the, the raised bed pretty fast, but look at this now. Look at that. It is awesome. Whew. Man, it's growing great. It is filling her up. I'm going to have to harvest some. Probably next month I'm going to start taking some off of this one. Definitely, because I need to have that. I love to have chocolate mint tea during the winter time. Love to have herbal tea. Well, I think I might have a surprise for you because I have actually been thinking about expanding the garden and therefore I've come the other day, come to the point where I said, I'm gonna do it. And I'm going to put a little, uh, you know the concrete blocks, the square blocks? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of those, you know, maybe the, like a, the 15 by 15 or the 16 by 16, uh, with, you know, which, whichever one's available at the time. And I think what I'm gonna do is fill in this area right here and look what I just built the other day. So I'm gonna start filling these up soon. 
Oh, here we go. I can build another bed here, another bed here, another bed here, another bed here. And all of this grass that you see in here, even all the way over to here, all this grass you see in there, all the way around, all the way up to that, all that's going to be concrete blocks. And I'm going to put me a nice little table here, maybe even a little fire pit. And I'll be able to put an umbrella, maybe a table, and I can sit out here and enjoy the garden and drink some herbal tea. What do you think about that? I can't wait to get these filled up. I still got a lot of herbs that I need to put in these and maybe some other things also. But I think it's going to look really nice to go right in that area. Well, it's going to look real good. Put, a, put all the cement blocks all in there where you see the grass in the middle. And maybe even come all the way out to here over to here just make this whole area concrete blocks be a nice little garden sitting area maybe maybe even put put a little um i don't know maybe a little swing i don't know i don't know i think more i, I like chairs more and maybe a table here's another angle it's gonna look really good with all the concrete all over in this area, the concrete blocks. I can't wait. Well, I'm really happy about what the garden's turning into, and um, I'm gonna keep you posted. So I just wanna say thank you very much for joining us right here at Herbal Gardens Homestead. And remember, love your land, and it'll love you back. Take care. See you next time.